Hi there, I'm Kenton Jones with Multipeer, and today we're going to be conducting a few demonstrations that anybody can do in their own home to demonstrate the effectiveness of the Multipeer drinking water system and the importance of filtering the water that you use around the house. Now today we're going to be focusing on three major areas. First, most obviously, is water that you drink. Secondly would be water that you cook with, and third would be water that you bathe in. So we're going to be conducting an experiment with tap water today, and the main chemical contaminant that we're, that we're looking at is chlorine. Now one easy way to find out if chlorine is in your water is with this. This is a chemical, a pool testing chemical called OTO. And what happens when you put a few drops of this in water that has chlorine in it, it turns yellow and it's pretty obvious that there's chlorine in it. So our first demonstration, we're going to be going with, let's start with the multi pure water. Five drops of OTO in there. One, two, three, four, five. And we're also going to do tap water. As you can see, the tap water has plenty of chlorine in it, and the multi-pure water is crystal clear. So, looking at both of these, you have to ask yourself, which one would you rather drink? Now, this is something that a lot of people don't think about, but a lot of common foods out there, and we have them here with us today, things like pasta, jasmine rice, or pinto beans, are foods that require a lot of water to prepare. Now, with the case of pinto beans, which we're going to use today, a lot of folks, when they're preparing beans, they actually soak them overnight. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our tap water, fill up a glass, no beans, fill up a glass with beans. Put five drops in each. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. Now, watch what happens. Tap water with no beans has chlorine. Tap water with the beans. Where did the chlorine go? So you got to ask yourself, why are you cooking your beans with just plain tap water? Now, our final demonstration that we're going to be conducting has to do with water that you bathe in. So again, we we'll use tap water. Just to show that we are still working with water that has chlorine, we'll put seven drops because this is a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As you can see, plenty of chlorine in there. Now we're going to simulate taking a bath in this water. And that's how we do it. I think I need a toy boat here. Okay, that should be good enough. Put seven drops in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn it up. Crystal clear. So where do you think the chlorine went? So there you have it, folks. Choice is simple. 
multi pure water is simply the best. So until next time, with pure water for better health, I'm Kenton Jones.